Tell me, uh, Mars, what do you see a timing for actually sending humans to Mars? Is there a schedule, and when would you see that happening? Well, I think as your bill directed, it'll be approximately in the 2030s. The, as I mentioned, we actually are building hardware to test the new heavy launch vehicle. And this vehicle will take us further than we've ever been away from this planet. So uh, unfortunately, spaceflight takes a lot of time and money. So uh, getting there will require some international cooperation to get the, the, it to be a planet-wide uh, approach in order to make it successful, just because it is a very expensive endeavor, but it is so worthwhile doing. Well, we want to try and do it during my first term, or at worst, during my second term. So we'll have to speed that up a little bit, OK? <laughs> we'll do our best. You will, and I have uh, great respect for you folks. It's amazing what you do. On a multi-year Mars mission, we're going to need to be able to close the life support system. And that means we, right now, for instance, are taking solar power that we collect and using it to break apart water into oxygen and hydrogen. The oxygen we breathe, of course, we use the hydrogen, combine it back with the CO2 that we take out of the air and make more water. Uh, but water is such a, a precious resource up here that we also uh, are cleaning up our urine and making it drinkable. And it's really not as bad as it sounds. Well, that's good. I'm glad to hear that. <laughs> Better you than me.